Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice for radio. So today, I want to show you a Luxray deck. I know, right? We've not talked much about this Luxray. This Luxray is not one that we had hugely high expectations for. But I did tell you this Luxray looks pretty gosh darn good. And, oh look, it's another deck that can abuse Scoop Up Net. Who could possibly have seen that coming? So, Luxray then. Now, Luxray itself is pretty gosh darn good. What we see in all our translations here come from the lovely David Hockman and the lovely Antoine Boulet. And I should also shout out the lovely Talonite X for hooking us up with a deck list. And what we see here with Luxray is for one lightning energy, 60 damage. But if it evolved from Luxio this turn, and it has to be Luxio... You can't rare candy and evolve straight from Shinx. But if it evolves straight from Luxio this turn, the attack does 100 more damage. Oh, yeah, that sounds pretty good. That sounds like something I can get all in favor of. 160 damage for a single energy on a single prize Pokemon sounds pretty good. But 160 won't one-hit KO multiple prize Pokemon, and you're a stage two, and surely this is too awkward. Well, no. Because might I introduce you to the Luxio. Now the Luxio here is awesome. It's got the ability Top Entry. One of the three that does, incidentally. When you draw this card as the first card of your turn, if your bench isn't full, you may put it onto your bench before adding it to your hand. Now it only works if you draw it as your card for the turn. If you play another card that lets you draw cards and you draw it, it doesn't work. Boo, hiss, etc. Never mind. But this is awesome. If you can get it to the top card of your deck, if you can draw it as your card for the turn, either you do it randomly, in which case, yay, lucked out, or could you do it deliberately, more on that in a moment, we're looking pretty good here. And now you can cheat a stage two. So now it essentially becomes a stage one. But wait, there's more. Because we also have a Shinx here. And we're playing a Shinx from Ultra Prism. Not for long. That Shinx is going to rotate out before too long. But it's not rotated out yet. And it's clearly the best one to go for. Because the Shinx has got evolutionary advantage. If you go second, this Pokemon can evolve during your first turn. Oh. Yeah, Luxray might technically be a stage two, but what we've got here is two different ways to be able to treat it like a stage one. Either you go second and on your first turn you get a bunch of Shinx down and immediately evolve them into Luxio. Or you get Luxio on top of your deck, draw it for the turn, and then you get to treat it like a stage one. Because then next turn you can just evolve straight up into Luxray. Oh yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. And here's the weird thing about this list, right? We're not playing any Rare Candy. We are not playing Rare Candy in this deck. We are not treating this like a traditional Stage 2 deck. We're either using a Shinx into Luxio Turn 1 going second trick, or we're using a Luxio on top of our deck, put it straight down on the bench trick. Or I suppose if we're desperate, we're just evolving up manually. But what we're not doing here is actually using the traditional rare candy, we've got two different ways to treat evolution. And looking at other Pokemon, I'm assuming at this stage you've probably realised the only one we really care about here is Oranguru. We do have a couple of others, but it really is Oranguru that is the absolute key here. You see, Oranguru from Sword and Shield's got that redonkulous ability that allows you to swap a card in your hand with the top card of your deck. Oh, yeah. So now, one of two things is going to happen with your precious Luxio. Either you draw it naturally as the first card during your turn. Yay! Whack it straight down. Or, you don't draw it naturally at the beginning of your turn. You draw it at some other point. In which case, you use Oranguru. You draw a card. And you put Luxio on top of your deck, guaranteeing you draw it at the beginning of your next turn. Unless your opponent plays something like a Marnie or a Reset Stamp. But then again, if your opponent is wasting a Marnie or a Reset Stamp just to stop this, you're probably in a decent position. And the other thing to remember is you don't need this every turn. You're going to be evolving some Luxray up manually. If you go second, you've got a little bit of cheating in that regard. So you don't need every single Luxray to come off a Luxio that's drawn for your turn. 
This looks pretty good. And I know it might be a single prize Pokemon, but we're still rocking 160 HP here. That still isn't exactly the easiest thing to KO for every single deck. Now, in terms of other Pokemon, we got one copy of Mew to protect your bench. That's moderately important. And we've got two copies of Jirachi. It's Jirachi. If it's in the active position, then you can look at the top five cards of your deck, find a trainer, put it in your hand, it goes to sleep, and you use a skateboard for free retreats. Yeah, Jirachi is going to become uniquely important. We'll look at that in a moment. Now, in terms of the energy line, obviously you're playing Lightning, but we're also playing a full four copies of Speed Energy here. This is great for Speed Energy. Because you see, what Speed Energy does is when you attach it, you draw two cards. It's a Lightning Energy, no matter who you attach it to. You only get to draw two cards if you attach it to a Lightning Pokemon, but you're only going to be attaching it to a Lightning Pokemon, so who really cares? That sounds fine by me, ladies and gentlemen. That sounds fine by me. So what we've got here is a fantastic little Pokemon that hits 160 for a single energy, and we can cheat it out. The problem is it only hits 160 for one energy if it evolved this turn. And that's where Scoop Up Net comes in. Scoop Up Net lets you pick up one of your Pokemon that is not a GX or a V Pokemon and put it in your hand. Now, you do have to discard all cards attached to it, but otherwise you're golden. And this is essentially what you do. And we've seen this so many times. We, we saw this with Super Scoop Up with Crobat and Golbat a little while ago now. And you could go way back with this kind of strategy. And essentially what you do is you have one Shinx and one Luxio on the bench. And then you've got your Luxray in the active. Well, then what you do is you, you scoop up net, you pick up your Luxray, and then you bench the Shinx, evolve the Shinx you've already got into a Luxio, and the Luxio you've already got into a Luxray, and round and round we go. And of course, when you evolve up, you then trigger the 160 for a single energy kind of thing. It's really quite nice. You do have to discard the energy attached to you, and that kind of sucks. But you're playing 8 energy. We can't recover speed energy, but we can recover the lightning energy, so I think we'll probably be alright. The other item card we really need to look at here is, of course, Electro Power. Electro Power says that your lightning Pokemon's attacks this turn do an extra 30 damage, so clearly this is going to be pretty gosh darn huge. 160 will already get to Dedenne, and that's kind of lovely. Two prizes, yay! But you need to do a little bit more. Against something like a Zacian V, for instance, you're going to need two Electro Power to do 220 damage. And then you get the KO, which doesn't sound too bad. Now, in terms of other cards here, we're just playing four Quick Ball, four Evolution Incense. That's our Pokemon search. Quick Ball for basics, Evolution Sense for Evolutions. Makes sense. We do play a single copy of Pokemon Communication here that lets you swap a Pokemon in your hand for a Pokemon in your deck. And honestly, the reason we play this is we want one more Pokemon Search card. And we've already maxed out Quick Ball and Evolution Incense. And this is the best we've got. Two copies of Reset Stamp puts your opponent down to a hand equal to their remaining prizes. Good towards the end of the game for slowing your opponent down. Two copies of a skateboard for Jirachi, obviously. And we've got two copies of Ordinary Rod. Or Normal Rod, I think they actually translated it as when they brought it over here. Either way, it's a very good card. It's Ordinary Rod. And Ordinary Rod lets you shuffle up to two Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck. And it lets you shuffle up to two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. And you can get Pokemon and energy, or just one. And for each one, you can get one or two. It's a very good card. So this is how you get your lightning energy back so you don't run out. And it's also how you recover all of your Pokemon. Because, of course, you might get one hit KO'd occasionally. And you really do need to try and get six Luxray during the game. That's, that's moderately important. Now, in terms of supporter cards, the fact that we're playing for Professor Magnolia, the fastest, most aggressive supporter card in the game, probably shouldn't surprise you. And the fact that we're playing for Marnie, which 
Well, it's a good draw card with a bit of disruption. Both players shuffle their hands and put them on the bottom of their deck. You draw five cards, your opponent draws four. Little bit of disruption while also being a little bit of draw. Not surprising. And the fact that we play two bosses, Orders Giovanni, also shouldn't be surprising. It's a reprint of Lysander. It is our gusting of choice here. Of course we're going to play it. But we also play two copies of Rosa. And Rosa is brilliant in single prize decks. You can only use Rosa if you had a Pokemon KO'd by damage during your opponent's previous turn. But you're playing a single prize deck, which means your opponent's going to have to take multiple KOs to win the game. So it's going to happen occasionally. And then you search your deck for a Pokemon trainer card and a basic energy. So you can get your energy and a Pokemon. And you can get yourself a trainer card. That, that sounds pretty good to me. That sounds like we're going to have basically everything we need. I would be tempted to play just one copy of Rare Candy here. Because, especially with a single prize Pokemon. But then again, remember, Luxray only does the extra damage when it evolves from Luxio. So even though there's a temptation to go, Rosa Rare Candy, it's so good. Don't do it. Because then you don't get the extra damage with Luxray. And that's a very bad thing. Luxray can do 120 for 2 energy. I've not actually mentioned that yet. But we don't want to do 120 for 2 energy. Bearing in mind if we scoop up Nettit we lose both the energy. We want to do 160 for 1 energy. There we go. And there we go. It's a good deck. I love this deck. I worry that it's not going to be quite hard hitting enough. I worry that ADP decks taking 2 prize off single prize Pokemon will still be able to outrace you. But I do love the simplicity of the deck. I love that we've got two different ways to cheat evolutions. And I adore that Luxray is coming around again. This makes me very happy indeed. But I'd like to know how happy it makes you. So let me know in the comment section, would you? Go nuts! Be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash btcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff head on over to patreon.com slash btcg radio where you can do exactly that and please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash wassy plays where you can find out about a whole bunch of games that don't have pokemon in but are pretty gosh darned good nonetheless but by far the most important thing as always Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.